Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at a couple of new cases from ESR for the new iPhone SE. And a big thanks to ESR for sending this out to review. Now the first one we'll take a look at here is a, it says it's a jelly case, but I believe it is their uh, clear silicone case. Now, the great thing about all these cases is they are not only compatible with the iPhone SE 3, they're also compatible with the SE 2, as well as the iPhone 8, iPhone 7, um, and pretty much any of the 4.7 inch phones. So yes, this looks like this is the clear silicone case. So this is a very basic clear case. Uh, this is gonna offer minimal protection, but you'll be able to see your phone very well. This comes in at a price of $11.99. Uh, now, this is not going to offer a bunch of protection. As you can see, it's a very thin case, quite flimsy, uh, this is not going to offer much drop protection at all, but if you just need a case on the back, then this is great. All right, we'll go ahead and try it on now. So we're gonna try and put our phone inside here. Now, for some reason, I cannot get this one corner on there. There we go. All right, so it's a little difficult in the corner for some reason, but as you can see, this adds very little bulk, like none at all. Uh, but as you can see, you get a perfectly clear view of the back of your iPhone. We do have a nice camera cutout. We have a raised lip around the camera, as you can see here. Uh, for our button, just a basic cover. Uh, it doesn't have any vents, so dust and debris will not get in there. Nice and clicky as well. On this side, we do have a nice cutout for our silent switch, as you can see here. And same button covers on this side as well. Nice and clicky. Now, it does appear there is very minimal lip uh, if at all on the front so I would recommend having a screen protector for this case if you do happen to get it um, as it is a very very thin one at the bottom as you can see here um, decent cutouts for the speaker and mic but as you can see it looks like it's not quite aligned uh, very well for that um, but a nice large cutout for our lightning port so it's a very basic case but now is this wireless charger compatible I would say yes just because it is a very thin case, and as you can see, so as I mentioned, it works on the iPhone 8, iPhone 7, uh, SE2, and SE3. Does it work on the iPhone 6 and 6S? Uh, kinda, but as you can see, the camera cutout is not quite um, in the correct spot for the camera, but the button placement is exactly where it should be. All right, and the next one we'll take a look at is the Air Armor case. Now, this is actually one of my favorite cases that they offer. Uh, this one comes in a couple of different colors. It comes in clear, clear black, clear red, and frosted black. Uh, they vary in price depending on what you get. So if you get the clear, that's $11.99. Uh, the other three run $14.99. And as of the filming right now, uh, there is a 10% off coupon. All right, and the version I have here is the clear. So as you can see, it is completely see-through. Now this one is definitely going to be a little bit more protective than the uh, jelly or clear silicone case. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more rigid, which is nice to see. And the sides and the top and bottom are a little bit more rigid. So that is very, very nice to see. This should offer a little bit more protection. Now placing our SE inside should be pretty easy. And as you can see here, slides right into place. And as you can see, we get this very nice view of our iPhone SE on the back. Now, as you can see, we have a very unique uh, cutout here. As it's not completely circular, it has some angles to it. We do have um, a lip of protection around the camera, which is nice to see. Now, this one does add a little bit of bulk to it, but it does offer a lot more protection, which is nice to see. Our button cover is completely covered. There is no vent. It does feel very nice. Same thing on the opposite side here. Our volume buttons are very nice, so they are separated. Uh, no vents in there, so no debris will get in. A very nice cutout for our silent switch that is easily accessible as well. Taking a look at the bottom, you can see we have perfect cutouts for our speaker, microphone, and lightning. And as you can see, we do have a lip of protection around the front as well, so we have protection for the front of our phone. Now checking uh, the snugness of this, this is very snug around the phone. So this one is definitely a one I would recommend. Now it is a little less snug around where uh, the port is and speaker and mic, but that is pretty normal. Now this is a TPU uh, silicone style case. Um, I don't believe it'll loosen up over time, but it definitely looks really, really nice. Now, another thing I'll take note of here is you do have these corners here, the air armor corners, as they call them, I believe, and that will help against falls. So really nice to see, and definitely one of my favorites. And a quick wireless charger tech. Now this is obviously gonna be compatible, a very thin case, and as you can see, it works just fine. Now, as previously mentioned, uh, this does work with the iPhone 7, 8, SE2, SE3. However, it should still work with the iPhone 6, 6S. Uh, but as you can see, just that camera is just not gonna work. So it still will work with the camera, but 
it's just got a weird placement because it's not meant for this phone. Now the last one we'll take a look at here is another one of my favorites. This is the metal kickstand case. I do have two of them, so I do have the two different colors it comes in. It comes in either clear or black. If you get the clear, that one runs $16.99. However, the black comes in at $18.99. Now taking a look at these out of the box, you can see a little bit of difference between the two. So I think that's maybe why the black one is a little bit more money. We'll take a look at the clear one first. Now, uh, this one is, as you can see, perfectly clear. We do have the metal kickstand at the uh, bottom here, and this isn't going to add much bulk to it. They have redesigned it over the years and uh, reduced the footprint of the kickstand itself a lot. Now, this doesn't interfere with wireless charging, which is nice, and I'll show you that in just a moment here. This isn't going to add much bulk to it either. Now, as you can see, it's decently rigid all the way around. It's going to offer you some drop protection on here. All right, let's go and pop our phone inside and take a quick look here. All right, so as you can see on the back, we have a perfect clear view of our phone. We have a nice lip of protection around the camera. We do have a very thin profile, as you can see here. Around the button here, you can see we have two vents on either side of the button. It is nice and clicky, but debris may get in there over time, so you may just want to take it off and clean uh, underneath the case here. Same thing on the opposite side, debris just make it in there over time. Now our silent switch is easily accessible. We have a nice lip of protection going all the way around the front so you will have some protection for your phone. And checking the snugness here, it is nice and snug. However, this is, I believe, more of a silicone so it may loosen up over time, but as you can see for right now, it is nice and snug all the way around. Now the start of the show is, of course, our kickstand. So that is clipped into place like so and just plops out right like that. So you can put this vertically if you'd like or horizontally and I know in my previous videos I've shown of this I was doing it wrong so I believe it's like that so I don't know you can do it either way really so that's one angle you have vertical or you can do it that way and this is real metal as you can hear with that kickstand tapping there and then it, when you're done it just clicks right into place and goes away not only that, you also have a little lanyard hole right there, so if you want to use a lanyard on this, you can. And it looks like it's only on that one side there. All right, taking a look at the black version, you can see we have kind of differing uh, materials and textures going on here. Uh, this looks like it is kind of a two-piece affair. As you can see, we have silicone at the top, a silicone at the bottom, and a plastic portion in the center here. Now, it does look like this is going to collect some fingerprints, unfortunately, uh, but it still does look pretty nice. We do have a different kickstand that goes all the way to the edges, as you can see here and it does have ESR branding. Um, it's not as matte as the clear version, and it doesn't click into place and lock like the clear version does. And it does have less bulk, but it does look like the case overall is a little bit more bulky. So as you can see the difference here, uh, different placement, but completely different kickstand. So very interesting to see. Now, this one is a little bit more rigid than the clear one because it is two pieces. So feeling it from the sides and from the top and bottom feels really nice and rigid. You can see you have this pattern going on on the inner lining of it, designed by ESR. So this must have been redesigned recently. And popping our phone inside to take a quick look. You can see that pops in nicely. And again, it does add a little bit more bulk than the clear one to your phone, but this one is a little bit more protective. You can see we do have a small lip of protection around the camera. However, the case is thick enough that it will protect the camera just fine. Uh, we do have nice button covers. This one doesn't have vents. They are a little bit thinner uh, than the clear version. Same thing on the side. We have separated buttons. They are nice and clicky. And then can we reach our silent switch very easily? Let's see. You know what? Actually, that one's a little hard to reach. All right, yeah, so the silent button on this one Yikes. Yeah, I can't even reach the silent button on here. Let me take this out and try it again. I don't want to I don't want to give this a bad review, you know, if uh, it's something that I did. So, all right, so I'm going to put this back in. All right. So, it's in there. Our buttons are good. Can I reach the silent switch? barely can reach it that's really hard yeah that's not a good that's not a good uh cut out here yeah i cannot reach it so as you can see it's very deep and not big enough for me to reach into so the previous version of the case i think is a little bit better than this um it looks really good but that's disappointing so i can't reach that silent switch so i'm not sure i can recommend this one um looking at the bottom you can see our cutouts are very good for our uh, speaker and microphone and of course, the star of the show is that kickstand. So as you can see, that's going to go out like that. So you can have this vertically 
place it like so or place it on the opposite way if you'd like. So you got a couple different angles you can use with this. Case. Now, both of these are going to be wireless charger compatible and I love that they have the kickstand down toward the bottom so you can just go ahead and place it on and voila, works just fine. Now, the great thing about these cases is these are all compatible with multiple phones. So if you have an iPhone 7, iPhone 8, iPhone SE 2, or the brand new iPhone SE 3, these will work with that phone. In addition to a 6 and 6S, those are the 4.7 inch phones. However, it will not look right with the camera, but the button placement and everything is still exactly the same. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I will leave a link down below for all these cases if you're interested, and I'll see you guys in the next video.